Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to create rules in Outlook to move emails automatically to different folders. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as we know that in our Outlook, we can create different rules to decide what to do with our incoming emails or with those emails that already exist into our Outlook account. So here, as you can see, I have my Outlook. In order to create different rules, we have different ways. First of all, open your email and just right click on it. So let's say I'm going to work with this particular email and I'll right click on it. After that, here you will see an option that says rules. Go to this option and down here you have another option that says create rule. Just click on it. Now what I want to do, here it says when I get email with all of the selected conditions from CS graduate portal, let's say I want to include this one. So I'll just tick this checkbox. After that it says subject contains. Let's say I want to specify some of the subjects. Let's say I write here urgent so any email that contain urgent in its subject will be considered for this particular rule then here we have sent to it means whenever this type of email comes or from this person comes what i want to do i want to send it to only me or i can also specify a particular user to whom i want to forward this email as soon as they come into my inbox after selecting these rules or after configuring these rules now what I want to do, I want to do the following. Display in the new item alert window. It means it will show you a new alert window whenever you will receive an email from CS graduate portal or any subject that contains urgent. After that, in case if you want to play a sound, select this option. So for that purpose, either you can use the already available one or you can also browse particular one from your system. So let's say as the email is urgent, you want to have an urgent sound for that particular email but let's say if an email is about weekend plans or let's say some extracurricular activities you can change the subject for that and for the same purpose you can have a different sound okay after that here it says move the item to folder now just select this option and here we have an option that where do we want to move this particular email or email from this particular person well, either you can move it to inbox, draft, send items and all these available directories. Let's say I want to create and I want to have a separate directory specified for this particular sender. So for that, I can click on new and here I can name my folder anything. Let's say I write here urgent underscore university. After that, here you have to select that where do you want to place this particular folder. I want to place it under the inbox. So I'll just click on OK. And here you can see Urgent University have been added under the inbox. After that, you just need to click on OK. And then you can either click on OK from here and you are good to go. Or you can go with some advanced option. I'll just click on advanced options. And here you can see here it says on this computer only okay if you go with this option that says on this computer only it means when you are using your outlook account on this particular machine only then this rule will be applicable but if i uncheck this one now wherever i'll use my outlook account this rule will be applied it says send only to me yes i only want these mails to come to me then it says from cs graduate portal yes obviously and here it says cs isp your student plan in the subject yes i want to keep that as well and here i have different other rules that i can include for my particular user or you can say for this rule then it says step two edit the rule description from cs graduate portal and with the urgent in the subject in case if you want to change the subject just click on your subject that is already here and that is urgent in my case now here you can specify different words in your search list here you can see you can keep on adding after that just click on add click on ok and you are good to go here you can see now urgent have been added one more time it says play windows notify email dot wave 
you can change the sound for your rule as well and it says display and down here it says some other rules so basically you can add different rules in here and now if you click on next and as you can see here it says are there any exceptions here it is asking accept it from people or public group well i'll talk to you about it later in this video so i'll leave it here then it says accept if the subject contains specific word it means if you want to exclude those emails that contain specific words in their subject you can include all of them in here just click here and then down here you can specify those words i'll just uncheck this one so it goes for other exceptions in here after that click on next and from here you just need to name your rule you can name your rule anything i'll name as rule underscore urgent after that you just need to click on finish and it says this rule will only run when you check your email in outlook so i'll just click on okay i'll just click on okay and we are good to go so if i further open my inbox here you can see we have a folder with the name of urgent underscore university just click on it and just open it so here you will receive all those emails from that particular user that we have selected earlier now let's see another way that we can follow to create a rule so that we can move our emails to a particular folder for that go to your files and here it says manage rules and alerts just click on it from here click on new rule and here it says move messages from someone to a folder yes i want to go with this particular rule and i want to create one related to it after that click on next so now here we have from people or public group so now what we need to do we need to select people or we need to select a particular group from where we want to receive email and move to a particular folder so for that purpose here we have from people or public group just click on it here select a particular sender or select a particular user from whom you want to receive emails let's go with this one and after that click on from so this person's email address will be added in here on its own after that click on ok now what you need to do you need to select some other rules from here that you want to specify with this particular person after you are done with all of them here it says move it to a specified folder just click here and from here you can again create a new folder so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to name it as weekend or you can name it anything as per your liking and then i'll move this folder under the archive folder after that i'll click on okay we are here now i'll just click on okay i'll click on next here it is asking again about different exception that i can put into my rule after that click on next and here you can name your rule anything i'll just name it as extra underscore curricular and i'm good to go after that just click on finish click on apply and click on okay and rule have been added successfully so let's go to archive and here we have weekend so in this we'll have all those emails from that particular person that we selected now let's see another way that we can follow in order to create rule select any person or select any sender that have sent you an email let's go with this one and now let's create a rule for this particular user for that purpose we have seen two ways the third way is here at the top under the home section here we have rules just click on it and here it says always move messages from canva either you can click on this or again you can go with create rule just click on the first option and here it is asking that in which folder do you want to move emails from this particular sender so select the folder or you can also create a new one and you are good to go let's go with this one i'll just click on okay and every email from canva will come into this particular folder under the inbox so how cool and how easy it is so these were some of the ways that you can follow in order to create your rules to move your emails to different folders as per your liking and that was all about this particular video i hope now that you must have learned and liked watching this one if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you in the next video till then take care